Hi, um, happy Fedora 41 release. Uh, my name is Joseph Marrero Corchado. I'm a core OS engineer at Red Hat. I'm here to talk to you about a change that is landing in Fedora 41. Uh, it's the DNF and Bootsy in image mode Fedora. And I have a very quick slide here. Uh, what does this change accomplish? There's two main things, which is the first one and the last uh, point in this list. The first one is including DNF uh, in in all image mode uh, or uh, OS3 Fedora variants, and shipping Bootsy in all those variants as well. Uh, if you have used any image mode system in the past, like CoreOS, any of the atomic desktops, Fedora IoT, and now Fedora Bootsy, you probably are accustomed to installing software using RPM OS3 uh, in, in, your, in your booted host. Um, and if you have started using CoreOS layering, uh, then you have probably used a container file or a Docker file to modify that base image using RPM OS3 to install software. Uh, and what we want to accomplish with this change is to enable users to use the tool that they are accustomed to use in package mode Fedora, uh, which is DNF. So now DNF is inclu it's, it's included in all these images. Uh, I think the atomic desktops uh, should get it in a week or so. Uh, for, <clears throat> for managing the life cycle, like doing upgrades, uh, deployments. Um, until now, you still were, have been using RPM OS3 as well. Now we have a dedicated tool called Bootsy to boot your containers uh, and deal with, uh, in, in the case of Bootsy, it doesn't know anything about RPMs. It just cares about the container image as the source of truth. And now the idea is that we want people to start getting accustomed to using Bootsy uh, to do those tasks. So when you're upgrading your system, you can do Bootsy upgrade. Uh, when you are uh, switching to another image, which in, in, in the RPM OS3 world, we will call RPM OS3 rebase, you would do Bootsy switch. Uh, and now something very cool that Bootsy enables is actually using Bootsy install to install the image in in even a non-image mode uh, system. So you could take a image mode system, a, a system that is package based and turn it into an image mode system with in, by installing Bootsy and running Bootsy install. Uh, and uh, those are the basic changes. That's the core of, of what we are trying to do here is exposing users uh, by enable uh, to DNF and Bootsy in image mode systems by providing it uh, in the base images. Uh, this means that when you are deriving a new system, uh, a, a custom image uh, with with using CoreOS or Atomic Desktops, Fedora Bootsy or IoT as your base image, you can now use DNF in your container file or or uh, Docker file to do those changes. Uh, a lot of the RPM OS3 features will start being ported to DNF5. That effort has started uh, in the DNF upstream. And uh, the other point here, which is the second point, is uh, we are trying to have DNF uh, updated so it points to RPM OS3 onboarded client system when invoked. So if, if you're in a system that is booted and you're using it, you try to use DNF to install software, we will uh, give a better error uh, and eventually tell tell you, hey, you should be using RPM OS3 to do client side layering, and eventually, you know, other tools uh, that DNF are developing. Uh, so that's the big changes here. Uh, the the proposal was de developed in collaboration between the DNF, Bootsy, Chorus, Option, and Fedora contributors. Uh, the, the main people that helped uh, build this this proposal was David from the DNF team, Colin from uh, the, the Bootsy team and, and, and Chorus, and um, Jonathan, Timothy, and Henata, uh, and myself from, from Chorus. Uh, we are, you know, 
working on the RPM OS3, OS3, boot C upstreams, and the DNF upstream, trying to get with the community understand what what this looks like in the future. So there's more changes coming. Let's get involved in the upstreams. Thank you so much to everyone that raised their concerns, contributed to the proposal, and went ahead and, and helped us get this over uh, to where we are now, which is uh, delivering this into the container images. I believe all con most container images right now are in the process of getting uh, updated to have these features. Uh, and if they have are not there right now, they will be in the next week or so. Uh, and yeah, so how does this look when you're trying to use it? So uh, let me get out of the presentation and actually show you a couple of things. So in RPM OS3, uh, like I said, a lot of the stuff, it's moving to Boots and DNF. There's already an upstream uh, note here in, in the readme for RPM OS3. So RPM OS3 is still here, still supported. Uh, it's still being fixed uh, if there's issues and, uh, you know, we are uh, making sure that it is secure. But new features related to container images and dealing with the life cycle of, of your system, uh, image mode system, that's going to go into Bootsy. And stuff related to uh, package management uh, is going to go into DNF. For so, so how does this look uh, other than, than what's happening with the code and all kind of stuff? How, how does this look for the user or someone that wants to use this today? So if I go here into con my container file, just a little, uh, this is just a simple repo. It has basically two files. One of them is a container file. The container file is using CoreOS. Uh, in this case, it's using testing develop which I think is, is currently what has both uh, both the Bootsy and DNF, and eventually this will make it to stable image. Um, and if you look at this Docker file or container file, it looks like any other container file or Docker file that you would create uh, to install software and ship a container. We are just have a base image and we're calling DNF to install a couple of things. We can even use copper here. So I'm using copper install Podman Bootsy, and I'm using your standard packages from the repositories uh, to install, to be able to do uh, VM management. Once that's uh, defined, uh, I went here and created a, a GitHub workflow. This GitHub workflow is very simple too. Uh, it just check out the repo. It goes ahead and builds the image with Builder with a Red Hat action that is provided. And, and then the final thing is that it pushes uh, that build image uh, into the GitHub container registry. And once that's done and it passes, so we can see some of the actions here. Uh, we can go here to packages. And now I have my container that I can pull into any machine, right? So if you right now want to test this, you can grab this container file and run it, and you can see that it has Bootsy, has DNF, and it has the package that I just installed. So you can run it like a container, check that it has everything. So that's it's just a container. But the magic is that you can also use it to change what your host has. And I have a VM right here. Uh, let's see what it is. So if I go here and do Etsy, was release. Uh, this tells me this is a Fedora 41 system. Uh, this specific one, it's a Fedora Bootsy image. But the most important thing is, uh, what what do I want to add to this image? Uh, do, do we have what we needed that we built into that container file? For example, we should have Bootsy here. So if I do Bootsy version, I see I have Bootsy 1.1. And if I do DNF data version, I still have that. If I do RPM OS3 status, see this is using uh, the Fedora Boot C image. But the cool thing is that all these systems are image mode. So uh, many of them, you can just switch uh, the image to track something else. 
In this case, we're going to switch the system into using Fedora CoreOS, and it's going to have the different stuff that we I added to the image, which are, uh, so it should have Verge. If I try to run Verge here, there's no Verge. If I try to run Podman Bootsy, there's no Podman Bootsy, okay? So what I'm going to do here is very simple. I'm just going to, uh, let me clear this, and I'm going to do Bootsy switch. I'm going to paste my URL, and this should be enough. Uh, actually, this is not the image. Uh, this is my personal system. Let me, it's also here in, in GitHub, uh, in case someone wants to uh, look at that. This is based on silver blue. But what we are looking for is this one for the demo. So I'll grab that, uh, paste that here. And there you go. So I'm doing Bootsy switch. Uh, if I did RPM OS 3 rebase, it will also work. Uh, and this is pulling my image with uh, my CoreOS image with my changes, the, doing an OS 3 deployment in the system. Uh, and once I reboot, I should be in a CoreOS system uh, with both the VM, the Kimu VM stack and uh, Podman Bootsy. So we'll give it a few minutes here and I'll I'll fast forward the recording of the recording once we this finishes. There's uh, changes coming that will make this even faster and download smaller, but that's still in development. Okay, so it tells me here that uh, this is queued for the next boot. Uh, and if I do our PMOS3 status, which is still here, uh, you can see that we have this new deployment. Uh, if I do Bootsy status, it gives me the same information, a little bit more condensed. Uh, something very important, Bootsy doesn't know about RPM, so it doesn't track how many file, how many files were downgraded, upgraded, or added. It just takes your image and uses it as a source of truth. Uh, this is stuff that will eventually will land in DNF. Uh, and that's the plan. Okay, so this is ready. It's time to do our quick reboot. And I'm using Podman Bootsy in my, in my host here to connect to it. So if I do Podman Bootsy list, it shows me my machines and I can do Podman Bootsy SSH. And let me get back into that machine. Okay, so we can see right away, I'm in mean, a CoreOS system. So let me do clear. Uh, and if I do cat at COS release, we should see, still be in Fedora 41. Uh, but now we are in Fedora CoreOS. Uh, but the most important thing, right, what did I add to that image? So if I do Verge, now we have Verge. Uh, if I do Podman Bootsy, I do have Podman Bootsy now. So we have successfully Bootsy switch from one type of container to another. We use DNF to build our container, and we use Bootsy to deploy in our system. And something cool also in your booted system, if you try to use something like DNF search, That will work. So now you have those toolings available in your system. Uh, and yeah, this is the first step towards uh, a more image mode world and, uh, and updating this uh, system. So you are, uh, you have more fa familiar tools like DNF and Bootsy as the one tool does one thing and does it well, which is dealing with your container image uh, or image mode lifecycle. And I think that's all. Happy Fedora 41 again. Bye.